physics around us in video games. Physics in the real world have been simulated in video games as early as the 80s, but the more recent titles such as Halo 3 accurately simulate the physics into the game. Everything from gravity, momentum, force, friction, and more have been included. You will be using several different clips to simulate the different laws of physics represented in the game. Here we will demonstrate the effects of gravity on different objects. No matter what the object's size, the force of gravity is always constant. Gravity only affects the object's acceleration in the y-axis, but motion in the x-axis is constant as you saw by the barrels in the beginning. Here we'll show you the constant acceleration downwards at 9.8 meters per second that the force of gravity causes. This also shows the law of conservation of energy. At the highest point where the object is stationary, it is all potential energy. But as it increases in speed, the energy converts to kinetic. Right before it hits the ground, it has all kinetic energy and no potential energy. Um. Well, sometimes games also have glitches, but even with these, you can still see the physics occurring by the particles that have exploded from the glitch, as demonstrated through this replay slowed down. This is another example of gravity. During this segment, we'll show you the concepts of velocity, acceleration, and friction. Speed is equal to the distance divided by the time. An everyday example could be the 15 kilometers you drive in 20 minutes to school. Velocity is a vector, which means that it is in a specific direction. Once the direction changes, the velocity does as well. As you change acceleration, you are changing the velocity. Acceleration is the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by the time. Acceleration is not only going faster, but slowing down or even changing directions. This makes acceleration a vector as well. Also shown in this clip is the concept of friction. You can see the slowing down of the vehicle as the gas pedal is not pushed, as well as it when it goes through different terrains such as water. In this example, we're showing you how a smaller object is hitting a larger object. We are simulating the concepts of force and momentum. Force is equal to mass times acceleration, but the force exerted by two colliding objects is always equal. Momentum is represented here as well. Momentum is mass times velocity. By the law of conservation of momentum, the initial momentum must equal the final momentum. While these explosives sit here, their total momentum is zero. After the explosion, brightly colored burning bits of material fly out in all directions. Each of these pieces has a mass and a velocity, so each piece has some momentum. Conservation of momentum, however, tells us that when we add up all the momenta of these pieces right after the explosion, they should cancel each other out and give a total momentum of zero. We have explained several different concepts of physics separately in this presentation, but in this final clip we will show you all of them together as they are in the game of Halo, which is similar to the real world.